Welcome back to another episode of Quest for One Piece. This is Mr. Smallmouth. Today we'll be unboxing the One Piece Marines Admiral figurines by G5 Studios. Welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more One Piece unboxing videos. The Emerald is the second highest rank in the Marines organization, senior to a Vice Emerald and junior to the Fleet Emerald. There can only be three Emeralds serving at a given time. During the Marine Fort arc, Akainu, Kizaru and Orkiji are the three Emeralds of the Marines. After the time skip, Akainu became the fleet emerald of the marines while under him was Kizaru and two new emeralds, Fujitaro and the mysterious Ryo Kugyo. Today we will be unboxing Akainu, Kizaru, Aokiji, Fujitora and a special unboxing of Marine Fog Arc Luffy by G5 Studios. Let's start unboxing. First up, we are going to start with Kizaru, the yellow monkey of the marines. This is the front design. Left side, right, the top and back. Comes with a cut, front design, back design. This is how it looks inside. In total, there are seven parts for this figuring. First, we look at the Durama base. So we can see there's a building behind. Most likely is the Marine HQ building. And there's explosion happening around the building. And there's uh, one ray of light over here. Next is Kizaru, the close-up shot of his face. Some Pika Pika effect on his hand, his outfit. And then there's a smoke effect and the rest of the part are just his uh, Pika Pika no me ability uh, ray of lights. So to assemble Kizaru here, we take the base. We start with the biggest light ray with the metal part sticking out. So this part goes in this slot on the right side of the building. So we just slot it in. Next, the light ray with two rays sticking out. This goes on the left side of the building. Right here, there's a slot. Next, this goes at the front slot here. And the last light ray goes to this magnetic part over here. Lastly, we take the smoke effect, there's a slot on top, and Kizaru goes here on top of the smoke. There's a part sticking out of his cape, and we are done. Borsalino, also known as Kizaru, is still an admiral in the Marines after the time skip. Kizaru at the Pika Pika no Mi, which is a Logia type devil fruit that allows him to create, control and transform his body into light. He is able to move, travel and perform kicks at the speed of light, shoot laser beams and he is even able to blind his opponents. For this figure, I really like the light beam effect. It's like shining in front of your eye. He even have the little lights on his two hands and the explosive happening around the building sort of enhance how powerful the light beams are. I think they could have add in some LED effect because Kizaru is a Pika Pika no Mi user so if there's a LED effect it will really enhance the figuring. Overall still a very nice figuring of Kizaru. Up next, we have Aokiji, the blue pheasant of the marines. This is the front design, left side, right, the top, and the back. Okay. 
There's even a QR code for the installation tutorial. Comes with a card, front design, back design. This is how it looks inside. So this figurine comes in nine parts. First, we take a look at the diorama base. So you can see the stone flooring. Then there's eyes shards everywhere and eye sculptures. Very nice blue pheasant with smoke coming out of its mouth. And then we have Aokiji, close up of his face. Look at the ice hand effect, his outfit with some smoke at the back and then we have his right hand with the ice sword effect then he also comes in with uh, three tridents and two ice shards for the diorama base to fix Aokiji we take the diorama base let's start with Aokiji first so he has this blue metal part sticking out of his right leg he goes to one of the slot here next we take the blue pheasant there's a manet at the back and there's a manet on top of this ice sculpture on the diorama stick them together next we take his right hand there's a slot on the right the bigger eye shot goes here The second eye shot goes here. This trident with the smoke effect has a magnetic part here, which goes at the back. This trident with some smoke effect goes to this eye shot. And lastly, the last trident is placed near Okiji's right foot. And we are done. Kusan, also known as Aokiji, is a former admiral in the marine. Although he was nominated by Sengoku for the position of the fleet admiral, he resigned from the marines for unknown reasons. Kusan at the Hie Hie no Mi, a logia type devil fruit that allows him to create, control and transform his body into ice. He can shape and construct ice that he creates and frees up his surrounding on a large scale. I think this figurine is very very cool and has a very nice concept. This is one of the hardest figuring to piece up because of all the parts, but still it was worth it. The downside in my opinion is that the white eyes or snow that is on his hair, on his face is a bit not aligned to the blue clear resin used on his eye sword, the ice trident. Overall still a very nice figuring to have. Next we have Akainu. The red dot of the marines, this is the front design, left side, right side, top design, the back. This is how the inside look like, comes with a cut, front design, back design. Total there is 5 parts, first the diorama base, so you can see there's lavas around the diorama with some metal scraps. Then there's the magma feast of Akainu and some smoke over here. And then there's more magma feast, very awesome design. And then there's Akainu, this is the close up of his face, some magma on top of his cap. Then there's his extended magma hand with some smoke at the back his outfit with his signature rose on the pocket and his slightly visible tattoo and then the last part is his cape with some fire here and the cape is looks like it's a bit burnt back view of the cape so first we take Akainu there's a slot at the back for the cake. And then we take the diorama. There's a hole over here for the leg. The smaller magma piece goes to the hole on the left. 
and lastly the bigger magma piece has a slot here which goes on the right and we are done Shakazuki also known as Akainu, is the current fleet admiral and former admiral of the marines. Shakazuki at the Magu Magu no Mi, a Logia type devil fruit that lets him create, control and transform into magma. His magma is extremely hot, highly explosive and well suited for combat. This allows Shakazuki to burn, melt and destroy anything in his path. Overall, I think the G5 Sakazuki figuring is very nicely done. I really love the design of the magma fees showering down. The only downside to this figuring is I think maybe Shakazuki looks too slim in this figuring. But overall very easy to assemble and powerful concept of displaying Shakazuki's strength and ability. Coming up next is Fujitora the Vesteria Tiger of the Marines. This is the front design, left design, the right, top, back design. Comes with a cut as well. This is the front design, back design. This is how it looks like inside. In total, there are seven parts to this figuring. The base, which will be supported by these meteorites here. This is how the surface looks like. The bottom. And then the meteorites design. There's a big meteorite and a small one. Then this is Fujitora, close up of his face. His outfit. There's the gravity effect. And then his hand with his weapon. So firstly we take the base, there's a slot here for the big meteorite. On the left side of the base, there's a slot here for the small meteorite. And then we take the effect, so the rubber should be on this side. It goes to these two curved slots here. On the right here, there's these two slot for Fujitora and then the arm with the blade goes here the arm with the shaft goes on the other side and we are done Iso also known as Fujitora is currently one of the three Admiral of the Marines, constricted through a world military draft and was appointed this rank to fill up the Admiral vacancies caused by Aokiji's resignation and Shakazuki's promotion. Fujitora at the Zushi Zushi no Mi, a paramecia type devil fruit whose power allows him to manipulate gravity. This power can potentially span a very wide area, shown to work on an island wide scale, and is primarily channeled through his sword. I was quite surprised by the finished product of this figuring because the outcome looked very awesome especially the diorama base and the raining meteoroids is actually holding the base creating a very special floating effect I think the effect around Fujitora is very cool and the details of the figuring is very elaborated as well overall i think this is a very awesome figuring to have i am looking forward for real kugyu the green bull of the marines to appear as well as his figuring lastly we have a special unboxing of monkey d luffy for this video this is the top of the wall luffy fun design the left side right side top design and the back design this figurine comes with a cut as well. This is the front design and the back design. This is how the inside look like. 
So in total, this figurine comes in only three parts. First is the Diorama base. So you can see there's um, the very cool water splash effect. And right inside, you can see there's some effects right in the middle. So this is the effect for his right foot, his left foot, and his fist. Then the figurine comes with this Luffy figurine. This is his close-up shot of his face, his attire, and then there's this mask from a ship that is movable but not removable because it's stuck to the body of Luffy. And lastly, one piece of effect for the Dorama base. So to piece them up, first we take the Diorama, there's a hole here for Luffy's right foot. Make sure the feet are in place where the effects are. Next we have a hole over here for this little piece of effect. Just have to stick it in and we are done. After hearing the capture of Ace, Luffy breaks into the heavily guarded Impel Down and appeared in the marine fort Paramount wall to save his brother. This is the scene where a pillar of water flies through the sky, soaring over the gap in the wall and landing right in front of the execution platform. From the water emerges Luffy, wielding a mess from one of the ships in his hands. Standing right before Luffy, the Emirates all comment on Luffy's boldness. What more can I say about this figuring? It only comes in three parts, very simple to assemble. But I really love the water splash effect of this figuring and the details on the figuring as well as the mask is also very elaborated. Definitely one of the figuring to get for fans who love the marine for art. We've come to the end of the video. What do you think about the Admirals and Luffy figurines done by G5 Studios? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. You can follow me on my Facebook and Instagram page to get the latest update. Do watch my other videos on the left. I'll see you guys on my next video. This is Mr. Spamov. Peace out.